Did you know that pumpkins are not just good for eating, they're also really good for your skin. And today I'm gonna show you how you can make your own pumpkin face mask. I'm gonna tell you why you would wanna do that, the benefits of it, how you make it and how to use it. If you're new on my channel, my name is Anya and I love the simple heritage homemaking and also making my own skincare. And I believe that it is very inexpensive and just as effective as anything that you can buy in this store. Now, why would you want to make a pumpkin face mask? Pumpkins are full of vitamins A, C, and E, and those are antioxidants. They fight sun damage, they help ease wrinkles, they make the appearance of redness a little bit less, and pumpkins help to exfoliate and brighten and firm your skin. And it's like, <laughs> what's not to love about that? Also, pumpkins are full of zinc and potassium and alpha hydroxy acids, so there's so much goodness in pumpkins. And then we're gonna add a few ingredients to boost up the health benefits or the, the benefits for the skin, and I'm gonna show you that in a moment. However, how do you make the pumpkin? Well, my favorite method, because it's super quick, especially when I'm using it for this mask, is to just cut the pumpkin in chunks. Sometimes I peel it beforehand and sometimes I don't. And then I have this little steamer basket, I have a little bit of water in the bottom, and I set it on my stove and I simmer the water until the pumpkin chunks are really soft. I have already done this here. You can also just cut the pumpkin in half, get out the, 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 the stringy stuff and the pumpkin seeds, and don't toss them out because they're really good for eating and also for another thing that I'm going to tell you in just a moment. And then you roast them on a baking tray until the pumpkin is soft and then you can use it that way. Some people also like to put their pumpkins in an instant pot. So whatever favorite method you have for preparing pumpkin, for cooking pumpkin is good. And if you're in a pinch, if you want to make the mask, but you don't have a pumpkin and you have canned pumpkin in your pantry, I think it is not the optimal option but it is an option you can use that as well it's just not going to be as fresh and i always love using fresh pumpkin for any of my recipes now if you're making your pumpkin for something else all you do is set aside a little bit of the um, diced pumpkin i did that yesterday and i put it in my refrigerator remember i steamed it and i didn't actually cover it which helped dry out the pumpkin a little bit so i get a little bit more of the texture and moisture level of a baked pumpkin versus a steamed because the steam has a lot of moisture in there. And then all I do is I add about a quarter cup and none of this needs to be super exact to a bowl. And if I wanna be super quick and make it really simple, I just take a fork and I mash my pumpkin right in here. Now, you can, for a more luxurious feel of the pumpkin mask, especially if you make a little bit more and want to keep more and store it for later, you can put it in a small blender or use an immersion blender and get a much silkier, smoother consistency. However, for this video, I'm just going to do that because it's not going to be, <laughs> I said not, it's going to be not very loud, but then um, there's always these unevennesses in my antique kitchen table, and so I'm gonna try really hard to not make this funny noise. And again, if you want it just slightly chunky, you can um, quickly mash it up. If you really want it much more even in consistency, you can take a little bit longer time. And then I'm gonna use some honey, about a tablespoon for a quarter cup of pumpkin. And if you're a regular on my channel, you know that I am the queen of eyeballing. So whenever I don't feel like I have to measure anything, I don't. And for this recipe, it doesn't matter if it's just a little bit more or just a little bit less. So give that a little bit of a stir. Now, because I have mature skin at my age, I am adding pumpkin seed oil. Now, this is something that I got in Germany and it is a particular pumpkin that grows in Austria, which has a really dark, almost black color, dark green color. So I'm adding just a little bit of that. 
If you are younger and you don't want the deeply moisturizing effects of a pumpkin face mask, you can omit this if you don't have it. You can also use an avocado oil. So I'm gonna give this a quick shake and add just about a teaspoon or so. I just want a little bit of that moisture. And then I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar. Partly I'm doing that because it makes that pumpkin mask smell really nice. However, apple cider vinegar also has really good um, and really beautiful benefits for your skin. So I'm just gonna add a small dash. That was more than a dash. Oh well, I told you I'm the queen of eyeballing. And then I will use cinnamon. Cinnamon is antibacterial, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. So I'll add a little bit of that. It also helps decrease the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. So maybe a quarter teaspoon or half a teaspoon, depending on your needs. If you want this to be a little bit more like a pumpkin pie. You can also use pumpkin spice and you get the cloves and the ginger and whatever is in your pumpkin spice mixture. All these spices have really good benefits for your skin. So that's another option. And you can also use cinnamon essential oil. It has a really nice scent and has just all the benefits. And I would just, for this recipe, I would just add a drop. So that's, that's another option you can do. Again, stir this up and I'm just going to use a kitchen towel so we don't get this annoying noise. That's a lot better. Now this is maybe enough for two applications. In terms of using your pumpkin face mask, this is what I like to do. I have a facial cleanser recipe that is right here. It's very simple. I also have another body wash recipe where I basically just mix Castile soap and an oil. I also have a card here. So I cleanse my face really well. Now I'm going to apply the pumpkin face mask to my face and it's so essential. I'm just going to use my two fingers here. and put it all over. I like to not put it right underneath my eyes and around my eyes. And when you have these little chunks here, that's what you get when you only use a fork. If you use a blender, you won't get that and it's gonna be a lot less chunky. It's gonna be a little nicer looking. If you have any problem areas with a lot of sunspots or any other concerns, you can dab it on a little bit thicker. And as you can see, I'm not even using a third of it. And here you have it. I'm just gonna wash my hands really quick. This pumpkin face mask smells amazing. It smells just like your pumpkin pie or like a pumpkin dessert. And the good news about this is that actually, if you don't use it, you can use up the rest and you can just eat the rest as a dessert because with the honey and the spices, it's gonna be just as delicious as it is good for your skin. How long do I leave it on? I find that my skin tends to be very robust. I don't wanna say thick, but I also have really thick hair and I feel like I have very robust skin. So I've left it on for easily 10 minutes you might experience a little bit of tingling. Now, I like that because I feel like, okay, this is actually doing something. If your skin is very sensitive, you might want to just try a few minutes, maybe three minutes, and then wash it off and see how you do with it. So having said that, I won't continue talking and I hope you don't mind looking at my face like this. I leave it on a little bit longer because I like that and I feel like I get more benefits from it. And how often do you use it? You can use it once or twice a week and then depending on your skincare needs. If you make a little bit more and if you choose not to eat it, if you can keep yourself away from it, you can store this in the refrigerator about for two weeks. So I would just put it in an airtight container, put a lid on and leave it in the refrigerator. And then uh, if you actually wanna do that, I would just take a clean spoon or a spatula and take it out so you don't get anything else in there. I'm going to 
wash it off so this wasn't quite 10 minutes but i want to talk to you about the next steps after you're done with your face mask I also told you that there is something that you do with your pumpkin seeds and the strings inside of your pumpkin. When you scoop that out, you can either roast the seeds and that's always my preferred thing to do with the pumpkin seeds because they're really healthy and they're delicious. But you can make a pumpkin seed exfoliant by using the stringy stuff on the inside, the pulp and the seeds and put them in a blender and blend them up. And that way you have a little bit of the graininess of the pumpkin seeds and you can use that as an exfoliant before you put on the pumpkin face mask and then you get the double whammy benefits of your pumpkin. And how do you follow up? Here is my DIY facial serum. I simply put a little bit on my fingers here. Spread that on my face and I can already tell that my skin feels really soft and very smooth and very refreshed. Now if you want to know how to make this facial serum, I have the recipe right here so you're set for your entire skincare routine. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen and I'll see you in this video.